The hurricane season is two weeks away, but it's a good time as any to find out what's likely to happen for this year. And it's said to be a stormy one. And obviously we've been seeing some of the rains out in Jamaica, but that's not related to the hurricane season. In terms of what we're likely to see, especially in our area of interest, which is from Trinidad and Tobago, 60 degrees west, all the way out into the Atlantic. And basically they're looking at three to six named storms to develop in that area. That's of concern to us as we go through the 2017 hurricane season beginning June 1st and ending on November 30th. Bearing in mind that a normal hurricane season, they're usually expecting a three, but above normal obviously is more than a four and we're likely to see that as we go through the next few months. Be mindful about that. Now in terms of the number of those that may become hurricanes, four of those could develop in the two of those hurricanes and a category three or higher, um, or higher a major hurricane, we could be seeing maybe up to two of those. So obviously as we go through this hurricane season, get prepared and obviously it only takes one to make it a bad season. But right now you can just see it here not much is happening lots of clear skies a few flecks of cloud from time to time even the two tropical waves that are coming through are being plagued by saharan dust so they're not set to develop anytime soon but it will likely add some moisture as you go through the next few days so looking therefore to trinidad looking at the clear skies at least for the next few days then we get some moisture pushing in possibly by the end of the weekend sunday maybe going into monday so we'll be watching that but mostly all of that moisture pushing towards the south across the Ghanas. So it's going to be another hazy night for many of you across Tobago. Breezy as well. You will notice those palms swaying and flags rippling as you go through the lunchtime and into the evening as well. You will notice that uh, warm breeze coming through along the Windward Road. Especially for Trinidad, we'll still like to see a lot of the breeze coming along the Atlantic exposures through Toko, all along Sandy Grandi Beach, down towards Gragarari overnight, quite breezy into the morning as well. We'll also notice that a bit more of that that uh, haze will continue to plague all of those areas along the east-west corridor and not much let up is expected towards the north even though there's that moisture coming through towards the south but it is here along the south coast on the columbus channel that we may well see some cloud in this building throughout the afternoon maybe just a slight shower streaking in across uh, the trinity hills but other than that s most of southern trinidad should be mostly hazy dry and breezy so a warm 24 degrees celsius tonight in trinidad 26 in tobago possibly pushing to 27 out in Scarborough and it will remain quite warm at night and by day through the weekend into Sunday for Tobago. Similarly for Trinidad, 34 is expected by day, no lower than 26 possibly for night. But once you get into Sunday, it could turn quite hot and then we'll likely see some moisture pushing in by Monday for southern Trinidad. Now for mariners heading out, you'll notice that there's lots of sea spray, white capping activity, all courtesy of those locally strong winds, 20 knots, that's what will have flags rippling. Sea spray as well, bringing two, two and a half meters through the Caribbean, possibly pushing three meters out in the Atlantic. Now the main story across the Central Caribbean has been the flooding in Jamaica. 200 millimeters, more than a month's worth of rainfall falling in many parishes across that island. And we're likely to see this system still remaining across the Central Caribbean over the next few days. It is basically the upper level wind streaming towards a loft, helping that tropical wave coming in. And then there's also that trough at the surface. The trough and the tropical wave merging, a lot more moisture to come. And obviously the flood, flash flood warning will remain across Jamaica as they go through the next uh, day or so. So heading therefore in uh, to uh, Kingston, in Jamaica, still quite rainy, 29 degrees Celsius. A few thunder showers may blow over into Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, but also quite wet as well for Haiti and many parts of Port-au-Prince. Out towards the east, we've been looking at this story for the last couple of days, nothing set to change, lots of Saharan dust expected. Through Rosa, quite hot, 33 degrees Celsius, but a cooler 32 down towards the mainland, Georgetown, with some showers coming through, at least to bring some cooling relief there. But for us, so tomorrow, still quite hazy, quite breezy, and obviously still quite hot. That's your weather. That's it from me.